Welcome back guys. Uh, today we're gonna be taking or today we're gonna be doing evening chores and take, we're taking the more holes off our uh, off a trailer right now. Um, this is Aiden's hosing which we just got. Uh, this is what we use to empty our manure pit. So we're just gonna go out and load the trailer then anyway. Alright, so we got four hose reels here kinda. Um I'm not exactly sure how many feet are here. Um all I know is it's eight inch hose. Uh we still gotta put these ends on it, but we're probably gonna do that after corn chopping. So we're gonna use this to empty our pit this year. I think we're gonna replace some of our six inch hosing with this. So it'll be quite the upgrade then for that. All right, so I'm back at the farm now. Uh, I just got the mini hooked up to the facer. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug in these hoses. So I got all the, I got the hoses hooked up. Uh, we like to wipe them down when we hook them up. That way none of the dirt gets in the machine. So we're gonna go ahead and start facing the hay bunker then. All right, so my uncle's dumping hay in for the heifer group right now. Uh, he's just finishing up the feeding for today. So he's just using up whatever's left of the loose hay over there by the bunker. Uh, once he's done loading the mixer here, we'll start facing. Uh, we face usually every night, and then if it's gonna rain or if it's really hot out, we'll face the next morning. But if it's cold enough like this and uh, the weather's clear, we'll just face at night so we don't have to get up so early. So. Alright, so I can start facing now. Uh, he's done taking the loose feet over here. He's just going to finish up with that little bit over there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start up the facer. So what we do is, well we kind of got this backwards since we got the hoses flipped. So we just, usually it's that way forward for the facer, but right now it's this way. Um, we just, I like to give it around 1800 RPM. So once it's there, we can just start driving and then slowly just go into the bunker or into the pile, I guess, or the feed. If you go into it too fast, it'll kind of short out. And then, uh, or the, the teeth on it will stop rotating. Then you gotta back off because it's too much, it's packed so tight it can't really rip it out or can't really break the feet out, I guess. So you gotta slowly ease your way into it. So. So we start at the bottom there because always if we were doing if we started at the top I know some people start at the top but uh if we did it kind of throw the feet down there first and we wouldn't be able to get to the bottom and cut out like a there's kind of like a wedge of feed that stays down there otherwise and we wouldn't be able to cut that out if all the feed from the top was already laying on the ground so that's why we like to start at the bottom at least or at least I do anyways after I get the bottom cut out I'll slowly go down at the top. done with this hay bunker here. Just uh, gonna start facing the top up now. Uh. All right, so that was the last little bit for this bunker. Uh, some of the feet sits up on those crevices in there, so I'll just shake that up. So, uh, now when we're in these corners, what we kind of have to do is get the facer to go over the wall so we can turn out of here. Uh, so this bunker's finished. This should be enough for tomorrow morning from the feed. Uh, might be a little bit more than he needs in here, but it should be pretty close though. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and head over to the corn challenge bunker then. All right, so here's the corn challenge bunker we're feeding out of. Uh, my uncle right now is just scooping up all the loose feed that we faced last night. He's just dumping it in the pile over there. Um, that he's gonna feed to the heifers tomorrow. So we can start facing on this side though. So, so we're facing the top right now, uh, just the top foot or two. Uh, that's because it's the driest up there. So we kind of put this feed in a little late, so the corn got away on this, I guess you could say. Um, I believe it was like 47% moisture. It might be getting a little wetter now as we're getting back, but uh, it was 47% moisture. Usually you want it around 65, 70%. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty dry. So what we're trying to do is feed the top stuff, which is the driest in here, to the halfers, and then the middle to bottom, or to the milk cows, which is usually which is a bit wetter. Uh, if you want to see how dry it really was, just go watch my chopping corn video. So right now he's just pushing all this uh, top feed into a pile right here. You can see it's not the worst stuff. Uh, it's still decent, it's just so dry. It's just not the most ideal thing to feed to the milk cows. So we're just gonna push it all into this pile off to the side. And then we'll try and feed it all to the heifers. All right, so now I can start on the bottom. Uh, you'll be able to see it's substantially wetter down here, or quite a bit wetter anyways. Uh, so that, that just helps. It's just better for the milk cows to, uh, to produce more milk and everything when the uh, feed is a lot wetter. Or, well, you don't want it too wet too, I guess, but you want it quite a bit wetter than what we were kind of what we got here. So uh, we'll just go ahead and face this bottom. And then what I do is for when we have to do the top, I guess, technically. Uh, it's not completely the top. We just go from where we left off and then just face the rest all the way down. So you can see it's a fair amount wetter. I guess it's not, well, it's actually quite a bit wetter. If, there, if the sun was out a little more, uh, you'd be able to see there's almost like a line from where, how dry, like from the top that separates the top from the bottom and how wet and dry it is. So here's kind of like what the feed looks like. Uh, if you just feel it, you can feel how much dry, wetter it is than, uh, the stuff over there so All right, so when I was facing, uh, my uncle scooped up, or he pushed this cell, this side into a pile here. Uh, this will all be for the milk cows. We still like to push into the pile. Um, it's supposed to be better, I guess. When, we, when you push into a pile, it mixes everything better because uh, this side of the pile might be different than the other side. So he's just scooping up this side and dumping it into the pile right now. Um, yeah, you, it's definitely quite a bit wetter here, but hopefully this year we'll be able to chop it a little sooner so it doesn't get so dry on us. So now everything's ready for us to feed tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.